Hey guys and welcome to a first how to draw lesson. I'm Aaron CCC and today I'm gonna teach you the very basics of drawing a perfect scene. At least as perfect as a beginner can do. So um I uh stopped teaching to myself. I learned step by step by lots of practice. And I decided let me um, let me pass on my knowledge to other people who want to uh, learn to draw. And I discovered that it's impossible to teach people the techniques that you use because everyone uses different techniques. And if you're using someone else's, then you're not going to draw as good as you can because you're not familiar with them. So what I'll do is teach you the basics and some giving some tips and inspiration for all you drawers out there that you can use to improve your own drawing skills. And today we'll start with the basics of drawing a uh, person. Well, I am doing this in Manha Studio because it's easy to record, much easier than on paper, but you can do it even on a book if you want you can draw the you can use this technique everywhere so you want to make a stick man in the position you want it to become so for example I'm going to make some uh, speed art Steve but real life just some sticks then his back legs it. Okay, so you want to do this with a very soft pencil so that you can easily erase this. I don't need to do that because it's a computer, I can just erase it without leaving any traces. So I'll fade that out, get a new layer. So on top of that, you want to start refining the shape, like his head. By the way, it is much easier to do on paper drawing itself, but uh, recording is a pain. Wait a second, got some uh, troubles with use Windows Illing ink. That is just something terrible. So here, hands. Yep. These will become here. Hmm. Whoop. Let's get that a little bit lower. Feet. Okay. After that, you can start with adding muscles and the basic body parts. That's just very basic. You don't need to do it really clean, it's just as a guideline. Oh, I forgot that I moved his knee. So, here. Okay. Then we have his hand. He is holding a sword in this hand. Pickaxe in this one. Okay, fade that out. Now it looks really, really derpy, but it will get better eventually. Just need to wait. Okay, so now we can add the neck, better head, eyes come here, nose here, mouth here, okay, 
that's a little bit... He's a little bit looking in the wrong direction. Don't need him to look down. That's up. Okay. Shoulder. Right here. Okay. Belly. By the way, you can pause the video at any time if you want to do some steps over. I am uh, doing this very slow, but if you want slower, that is possible. You can easy, even slow down the video with YouTube. Knee caps. Okay. I think his legs are... his... Uh, Right leg is a little bit big, don't you think? Yes, a little bit, but we can adjust that later actually. No need to do that now. He might lower his right hand. Two. Hmm. That's uh, something that occurs a lot in a drawing. Redrawing some parts that need to go something else, somewhere else. Sort. Hey, just need a little bit thicker. That's indeed too long. That's and also in the wrong position. That's not the image I had in my head. Here. Now he goes a, a fat ass. Let's let's improve that. Okay, that's that's a lot better. So we need to uh, adjust his hands too. So that will run run here instead. So you can fade it out a little bit more. Delete that layer. Delete. Delete. New layer. So the arm will go here instead. Fist. Big X. Okay. Fade that out. A little bit darker so that you can see the adjustment. Um, if you're doing this with pencil, you can. Uh, just uh, draw very light and erase. You should uh, get an eraser that doesn't erase too well so that you can lighten the drawing but not erase the drawing. Okay, so new layer. Now we'll go, uh, go into detail a little bit more. So this will be Steve. Let's get an image of Steve in here. For our drawing, um, images, Steve, Minecraft. Okay, let's just see what's uh, when did him position to the same position as I'm drawing. So, I have to look to the right. That doesn't matter too much, but I wanna make it very precise. And it's easier if it is looking in the same direction. That's it for the image. Come on, Steve. Okay. That's that's just the thing I thought. 
So, we got our image, placed a monitor 2. No, let me uh, save that image actually. Okay, I'm gonna save that image under my speed art file. So, where is it? Speed art. Um, speed art basics. So, you file basics. Then we're gonna make a file. Steve. Tutorial. Then save it in there. So let's open that up. Steve tutorial. Open image. Close that one. Okay. So we got our image here. Hmm. Wait a second. Better the file import image that's better so we will go to the file I just saved it in let's see here basics tutorial that perfect now we'll uh, going to a little bit smaller we we'll go over here. Actually, since that is a new layer, I can easily make it invisible. So, and by the way, when drawing, you can just easily uh, put a picture next to your drawing. So, that's actually the same. Give me pen. So. Let's see, he has a beard. Let's get a smaller precise. So the beard will run from here to here. Small beard. Okay. Let's smoothen that a little bit. So something like that. The nose will be here. Head. Wait. Isn't that head? That head is way too small. Way too small. So. And again, looking in the rain wrong direction get rid of that okay so nose will be here okay eyes Beard. Hair. He has brown hair that runs somewhere here. Okay. It's a little bit too far out. Crop that. So we got our basic Steve image here, his head. So his neck runs here, shoulder. He will have some. Uh, Diamond armor, like an image. Okay. So we're going 
here. Test piece. Connection point to uh, the armor on its back. That's a little bit too far out here. Okay, have to uh, make sure it is in the right perspective. Arm path. Okay, let's uh, move that image. Whoops. Where is it? Move layer. Somewhere over here. I won't give him a helmet. I think that would look. I think it, he would look better without a helmet. At least that's uh, what I think. You might think something different. But I'm the one who's drawing this, not you. Okay. Arms. Sword. Okay, this actually runs a little bit diagonal. Handle. Um, okay. Let's make it the right size. This runs to here, that runs to the okay. Little circle on the bottom. Then we will have the blade. Like that. We might make it a little thinner later. It's just a sketch for now. Not the final image. Arm. Elbow. Missile. Okay. Hands. Pickaxe. This will go here. By the way, these techniques I used for any kind of drawing, just telling you, not only for Minecraft speed art, just doing this because uh, I didn't prepare any other thing. Okay, that's, that's definitely a wrong perspective. I need to get that big straighter in his hand. That can easily be done by narrowing the view of the bottom of the big X head. But actually, let's uh, let's just don't do a viewing to bottom of the big X head. This perspective, you you can't see big X head. Or at least the bottom part here. Okay. Great. Okay, a little bit of lag here. That yeah, that's something man has to do because it's a heavy program together with recording software. It uh, lags sometimes. Okay. Then we have Spilly, some more armor plating here. Hey. And we will give him some iron booties. Uh, diamond booties, excuse me. Great. Uh, 
Okay. By the way, I'm making this a little bit more realistic, so the boots have a little connection of string here because that makes the boots more flexible, otherwise you would walk around in bricks wearing bricks under your feet Okay, all the parts of the boots. By the way, since in Minecraft the boots are just squares, you get a little bit artistic freedom in making them. Okay, this should more like that. Eraser. By the way, this is handy too. When I'm drawing, I always need to seek my stuff. Always forget where I place it. All I have to do is just click on the button. Legs. He's wearing some pants, so you can't see his muscles really good. So it is a little bit smoother. That's actually a little bit too thick, I think. That's better. Much better. So, and his knee should go a little bit higher too. Okay. Other leg. By the way, guys, this is turning out much better than the first stick man we drew. Don't you think? This. Whoop. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let me think a little. What? There's something. Okay, his belly actually ends here, but that that looks right. Okay, it it is just fine. Looked a little bit wrong. Oh no, I know. It is still a little too small. And start to pick. So now that we have that, we can delete that layer. Delete. Um, okay, that layer can be deleted too. Um, so, oh, that's actually the background. So, yeah, that's background. So, get a new layer on top at this. Fade it out. Great. Okay, next step adding more detail. And uh, that's then going to be the end of the episode. Next episode we'll do coloring. So his hair. That's what I'm going to start with. He doesn't have a nice poop. And French say, but. Who uh, looks after his hair in Minecraft? No one does. They all try to survive and run away from creepers. So that's why his hair is a little messy. That's, that's a bit too messy. And too long on the back. To get rid of that. This do. Okay. Hey. 
This is much better. It's beard. All dots. It doesn't have a full beard, which isn't, which is kind of charming, but. Would be more nice if we had the full beard. Okay, let's check that again. Yeah, he has only a full mustache. So, his mustache. Nose. That 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 that's ugly. Okay, take my razor quickly, quickly, get it off screen. No, 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 no. That's that's just terrible. Shouldn't zoom in while making his nose. So, his forehead is here. Nose. Beard. Eyebrows, square eyes. No, he's looking. Nah, he isn't that angry. I'm keeping a little Minecraft perspective in his drawing. So square eyes. Yeah, that's that's. No, that's a little bit the. Uh, Move another a little bit. Okay, that's better. Much better. So, let's continue with his neck. Hmm. His head is a little bit too far away from his body, actually. But got an easy solution for that. One of the handy tools in Manhunt Studio that you can't do on paper. And that is. That is. Selecting the head. Whoops. Okay. Um, wait. How do I do that? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Bad idea. Should get the bigger one. Lips. Aspect type. No. I want to draw my own ellipse. That's big enough. Move that. A little bit lower, that's great. Okay. Deselect. Zoom in a little. To his neck. By the way, we won't do the entire body in detail. Because otherwise this episode is getting too long, so just his neck. And the edge of his armor. Okay. Let's call it. Uh, let's just wrap it up here. Call it an end. I looks less derpy than that guy. I like this more than that. Look at that face. It's just like he swallowed Creeper. Oh no, it's an Enderman. Look at this purple tongue. Definitely an Enderman. So, see you next time. Another drawing lesson. Um, which we will do more detail and coloring. When we finish this, I will teach you the basics of Mecha. And later, and I will do even more drawing lessons. But that's a secret. Regret.
what I'll teach you. That's going to be a massive project, and you're not going to hear about it until then. So, goodbye everyone, I'm gonna save this, and then we can continue next time.